Hello, hello, and good day, everyone! Welcome to the Dragon Age Gates Glitch Tutorial, episode 62! So we're doing Anywhere Much of Bypass Glitch. We're going to, this time, explore the inside of the caves where the Invisible Gauntlets are. This time, we're going to explore the entire cave with Arak. First and foremost, we'll need to learn uh, four locations inside the cave that Arak can leave from. If we remember back... Uh, in an episode, I forget which number it was, uh, but it's discussed when doing the cave where the uh, blood vial is. The girl base over back in Raymond's Hold is the fact that you can actually leave, do the whole entire cave and leave with Arak. Here it's going to be a little bit different uh, in terms of since I cannot walk through the whole entire uh interior of the cave with Arak, but we'll just learn four different locations that Arak can leave from and we'll hopscotch from those locations to be able to complete the cave with Arak. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and introduce you to those locations. Let's first talk about location number two in perspective of action of from the beginning of the stage to the end of the stage. First, we want to be able to clear all the boxes and stuff in here so I can actually back Arak into here. So once we clear all those out, it's just going to take a bit of effort trying to get Arak uh, into here. If we remember over in Dagmog's Lair when uh, we were actually trying to back Arak out of there to exit out after getting Arak inside of Dagmog's Lair, um, it's about as, uh, troublesome as trying to get out on that, but still it can be done. We're, oh, there we are. This is what we're looking for when Eric finally pushes him back here and backing up. You can't go do this going front ways, but you can do it going backwards. And so what we want is get Eric over here, right? Come on, come on. There we go. Right out you. over here. Then we'll just go ahead once we're you. able to fly up and, well, we did fly up. Yep. Well, uh, then we just stand back down and just go ahead and fly up here. We can use also the outer limits to help us. We can actually still fly up a bit if we use the outer limits. And there we go. That's location number two. Let's get to location number one. Now, descending down here at location number one, we're actually going to go ahead and try to show you guys how to get through this uh, troublesome part. Uh, I... I've had enough trouble with this where I once thought it was impossible for Eric to traverse through, but it is a very, very, very fine hitbox. Just at the right moment of just wiggling through here, we can get Arak through. It just takes a bit of time. Okay. So now we can get to location number one. Again, I'm going based upon its proximity to the entrance. Well, proxi rather than just actually the path, of the path to the end of the stage. So we just want to use these boxes over here. We want to try to back Arak up into them. Um, I know, will note that usually this kind of uh, this one kind of pops Arak outside for some reason, but um, it really just probably, if it pops him outside, just mounts some bypass glitch back into here to continue Arak's exploration of uh, this place, but again, we just want to get Arak a little bit between the boxes, yes, right about there, it will help push Arak out, and ah, darn it, okay, come on, there we go, there we go, come on, come on, Arak, get in there, here. okay, get ready I to fly, come fly on, Arak, here. come on, fly, oh, what? Um, okay, uh, how in the world did I teleport over here? Um, wow. And how far away am I from the entrance? Okay, let's get ready, let's fly over there. Um, wow. Um, yeah, that's actually quite a, a ways away from just uh, descending up. Wow, okay, next one, please. Okay, now we're at the third entrance here, and we are going to uh, basically 
do the same thing what we did uh, earlier to get to the first one. Uh, here, this one is nowhere close as hard as the uh, trying to get to the first one. Again, here you just can just simply go ahead and traverse through here. I will note that the entrance to this and the exit to Eric cannot. Uh, well, Eric can't walk through from the entrance, but he can walk through from the exit. Now here, we want to utilize uh, this block right here to help push Arak through here. To then get him to fly... Well, I did get him to fly up a bit, and... Oh, wait. Oh, whoa! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Okay! We did it! Whew! Okay, that's the third entrance. Okay, now we're going to the fourth entrance here. We're gonna deal with these guys first. And get rid of the invisible war talk over there so we can go ahead and go into here. Now let's go ahead and fast forward to actually when I'm actually there. Now we are here inside where the, I guess you can call this prison cells, but in any case we want to wiggle Arak through this door here. This is where the next and final uh, place that Arak can actually leave from. Okay, get out of here. Thank you. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, get in there. Yes, there we go. Okay, so what we want to utilize is walking our past behind this rock here. And again, it's rather uh, difficult trying to get our into here. Well, not entirely difficult, but just a matter. He's get pushed around a lot. And all I want Eric's head is to go through there. And now he got pushed out around there. Great. Um, okay. That happened. Well, what we want to do is basically um, head up around here. Get back behind the rock. And hopefully this time actually do what I wanted to do here. Go ahead. We need to get over here. Okay. No, there, there, there. Yes, 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 yes. Fly. Fly. Well, it doesn't seem like I'm going to have the same luck as I did with the third entrant. The, the third way of doing this. Okay. Send back down. Let's go ahead and head back out there. Uh, round three. Try and do this. Okay, fly, get up, 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 there we go, okay. So those are the four ways to actually have our pop out of here, and we're going to utilize those to hopscotch around here, and we're going to show you guys how to traverse around here with Arak. All right, now that we know that four, the four different ways of our Arak to exit out of the cave here, once when I have our pop into the mountain here, let's go ahead and talk things what we're going to be doing here. So what we're going to do here is basically do a little speed demo. Kind of a, an example to show you guys what you can do here when traversing through here with Arak. And just do it with Arak alone. So we're going to speed things up here. We're going to just fly on into here and let's get things started here in 3, 2, 1.
And there we go. We are finally out of there. We are home free. We completed the whole level with just Arc alone. Of course, I had to use Ren to go get the gauntlets. But otherwise, yeah, the whole entire level was just Arc alone. Now let's go ahead and head back inside. There's just one more thing. Let me go ahead and save here. Just keep kind of the progress on the outside here. But just one more thing inside there uh, to explore that can actually ruin your experience when exploring with Arik alone. Okay, one thing that you should not do when doing exploring with Arik is actually go up to this gate here. Now, you can't leave out of this gate with Arik. Unfortunately. But... I'll wait here, Rin. You hear that? You just activated the music. I'll, I'll have here, you know Rin. that this part of this cave will actually activate the particular bad glitch that where basically if the camera is actually uh, facing out of if the camera if you turn it outside of the to the outer limits it will freeze thus making you only can pause the game and load back to a previous save so i mean unless you just want to go ahead and activate the switch and whatnot it really makes it a lot a lot harder to get out of here given that this is the only area that you can do it in and probably actually the safest for that matter. We're gonna get in here and then save the game. There we go, okay. Right here, we're gonna save. I always recommend to basically save the game before ever attempting this because most likely, more than not, you're going to actually freeze Arak outside the outer limits, freeze that camera that's behind Arak and Ren here. Because if the player cam, again, goes outside the outer limits, that you got to load back to a previous save. But to avoid this in the first place, is it not venture near... Oh, fine. Are we going to play uh, musical rocks? Are we just going to go ring around the rosy, around the rocks here? Come on, Eric. Get in there. There. Go down. Over. Okay. So basically, the best way to have Eric fly up is to turn him to a side. But however, if I turn him to the side, I'm very likely going to have... Arak's camera go outside. Ugh. There we go. Yes, you can, Arak. Okay, let's go ahead and speed through this so I finally get to a particular spot that we can actually then discuss how to get out of here once I want to get Arak into place. Okay, this is good spot. Okay, here we are. Save the game. Okay, now we gotta be careful not to clip the out of bounds. Okay, good. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Good, 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 good. Okay, here's gonna be tricky. Oh no, not tricky yet. Okay. I might explore that little island there in the, in the uh, next episode. Right now, I want to focus on getting out of here. Up, oh, yes! Oh, because I can accidentally clip into there, which will cause Eric to either uh, turn into nothingness, or he will basically um, 
or he will basically um, disa uh, either disappear or the camera gets outside the outer limits. Get the mountain. Go, 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 go. Yay, we're free. So that's how you get out of there, people. Uh, if you experience, if you accidentally turned on the music. So if you hear the music, you might as well just go ahead and load back to previous save and just try to work through there. But that's how you get out of there if you accidentally do that. It's best to just kind of just have Red run back through to open the door if you want that door open. But that's it. We're completing uh, the level with Arak, as well as just trying to find a way out of there if you accidentally activate the music. Uh, as well as, of course, if you do this and you want to be able to do more mounts and bypass glitch fun, you can go to the northern, t the entrance to the northern tundra and go back to Raven's Hold and come right back in. That being said, that's it for this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a great life, everyone!